Here is the example number second of chapter 14. In this example, we have to find the mean percentage of female teacher by all the three methods discussed in this session. Now in this table, the first row is percentage of female teachers which is in the form of class interval. The class size of this interval is h equal to 25 minus 15 is equal to 10. And the second row is number of states or UT which is also known as FI. Now let's find the solution for this question. At first we have to find XI. XI is equal to upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by by the help of this formula we can calculate rest of XI. Now X1 is now X1 is equal to X1 means the class mark of first interval. Our first interval is 15 to 25 so the x1 is 15 plus 25 divided upon 2 is equal to 40 upon 2 is equal to 20 similarly we can calculate x2 x2 means class mark of second interval second interval is 25 to 35 so the x2 is 25 plus 35 upon 2 is equal to 60 upon 2 is equal to 30. Similarly, we can calculate x3, x4, x5, x6 is 70 and x7 is 80. Now we have to choose a mean which is called assumed mean and denote it by A which is the midpoint of xi means mid term of xi. Our x i's are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80. The mid term of this series is 50. We can see 50 in the middle of x i's. So a is equal to 50. Now d i is equal to x i minus a. This is the general formula for di. By the help of this formula, we can calculate d1. d1 is equal to x1 minus a is equal to 20 minus 50 is equal to minus 30. Similarly, d2 is x2 minus a is equal to 30 minus 50 is equal to minus 20. Similarly, we can calculate d3. Minus 10, D4, 0, D5, 10, D6, 20, and D7. Now we have to calculate UI. UI is equal to DI upon H. This is the general formula for calculating UI. By the help of this formula, we can calculate U1. U1 is equal to D1 upon h is equal to d1 is minus 30 minus 30 upon h we know that h is 10 h is our class size so u1 is equal to minus 30 upon 10 is equal to minus 3 similarly u2 is d2 upon h is equal to minus 20 upon 10 is equal to minus 2 Similarly, you can calculate rest of UIs. U3 is minus 1. U4 is equal to 0. U5 is equal to 1. U6 is equal to 2. And U7 is equal to 3. Now, according to example, we have to solve this question by all three methods. Now, we require the product of Xi di and ui with their corresponding fi and put all these values into a table let us draw a table in this table there are eight columns first column is percentage of female teachers second column is number of state and ut which is also fi third column is class mark xi Fourth column is DI, fifth column is UI, sixth column is 
the product of xi with their corresponding fi seventh column is the product of di with their corresponding fi and last column is the product of ui with their corresponding fi we can see in the table 120 is due to first term of fi into first term of xi similarly 11 into 30 is equal to 330 similarly you can find the rest term of fi xi we can see in fi di column the first term of fi di is minus 180 it is the product of first term of fi and the first term of di similarly you can see that minus 220 is due to 11 into minus 20 similarly we can calculate the rest term of fi di and in last column we can see fi into ui is equal to fi ui similarly 4 into 0 is equal to 0 and here is the sum of total number of states so summation of fi is equal to 35 summation of fi means the sum of all term of fi means 6 plus 11 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 35. Similarly, 1390 is the summation of xi fi. Summation of xi fi means the sum of all term of fi xi means 120 plus 330 plus 280 plus 200 plus 240 plus 140 plus 80 is equal to 1390. Similarly, here is the sum of all term of fi di which is also called as summation of fi di and here is the sum of all term of fi ui which is also known as summation of fi ui now mean by direct method x bar is equal to summation of xi fi divided upon summation of fi equal to summation of xi fi is 1390 1390 divided upon summation of fi is 35 is equal to 39.71 now mean by step deviation method we know that mean by step deviation method is a plus summation of ui fi divided by summation of fi into h is equal to 50 plus minus 36 upon 35 into 10 is equal to 50 minus 10.29 is equal to 39.71 now mean by assumed mean method we know that mean of x equal to a plus summation of di fi upon summation of fi is equal to 50 plus minus 360 divided by 35 equal to 50 minus 10.29 is equal to 39.79 hence require mean by all three methods is 39.71